Hey everybody, this is Mr. Storm, and I'm very quickly going to walk you through the Brand Identity Project. Um, this is one you can do in Microsoft PowerPoint, or you can also upload this to Google Slides and do this in Google Slides if you if you want to. Um, it's completely up to you. Uh, I know some of you don't have PowerPoint, so you don't actually have to use PowerPoint. You can use Slides if you want. And all we're going to do is we're going to go through this presentation, and we're going to add answer the questions, right? So this second slide here, how do you define your product? How do your customers, how do customers think about you? These are just questions I want you to consider as you're going through this project. You don't actually have to answer these questions on the slide. Um, so who is your customer? The first step in developing a brand identity is determining who your customer will be. Think of your prototypical customer, the one that we built or that we created last week. Um, the one person that you are sure, that you are sure will buy your product. Um, each detail about this person will help you define your brand identity by appealing to their preferences, right? That's why it's important we figure out our prototypical customer first, then we build our brand identity, identity around their values. For example, if I'm a soft drink company, their prototypical customer is, so I'm thinking of a soft drink company, their prototypical customer is 12 to 24 years old, male, Caucasian, and their hobbies include skateboarding and playing video games. Who do you think I'm thinking about? Obviously, I'm thinking about Mountain Dew, right? That's exactly how they market their product. So on slide four, you're going to start filling in this information about your prototypical customer. And this is going to be based off of that um, who is your customer assignment from last week. So you're going to put in their age, their gender, their hobbies, favorite music, their income, other products that they use. And then you're going to find a picture uh, online that kind of represents that person and put it in here in the slides. Then we want to start thinking about our brand identity. So remember, it has to be distinct, so it stands out amongst your competitors and it grabs your customer's attention. It has to be memorable, it has to make a visual impact, um, it has to be scalable and flexible, meaning that it can grow with your brand. Um, it has to be cohesive, so each piece needs to complement the brand identity. Um, and it has to be easy to apply. So it has to be intuitive and clear so that designers can create a unified uh, brand identity for everything you create. Okay, in this questionnaire, I want you to just consider these terms, right? Traditional and classic versus progressive. And I want you to put an X in the box that more closely identify or most closely relates to your brand. So are you more traditional or are you more progressive? Are you more exclusive or are you accessible to all? Are you more corporate or more friendly, more serious, more fun, right? So you're going to put an X in the box that more closely describes your brand. Then buzzwords. This is going to help us to determine our slogan. You want to think of five words that describe your brand and put them in here. So one, two, three, four, five. Five single words that describe your brand. And then here we're going to find synonyms for the word. So for example, if I put in here, if I put fun, then I would find synonyms for fun. You know, I would put um, uh, awesome. Awesome is not really a synonym, but whatever. You get what I'm saying, right? Fun, playful, happy, right? We would put words in there that mean the same thing as fun. And then when we're done filling out this whole, oh, hello. When we're done filling out this whole thing with all these words, we're going to find the one word on here that most describes our brand. So maybe it's going to be this one in the middle. And we just want to sh fill in that shape with a highlighted color just to indicate that's the one word, that's the word that we're going to associate with the brand. On slide eight, you're going to create a color palette just by changing the fill color of these boxes. So you can come up here and you can change shape fill and you can pick colors that are more, more closely related to your uh, uh, brand. Now I would recommend finding some kind of color theory. Uh, there's a really helpful, um, tool that we can use called Adobe color, color wheel. Is it wheel? Let's try that. Adobe color wheel or Adobe color. There it is. Color.adobe.com. And in here we can actually find, um, colors that look good together and we can change the style of um, color theory we're using brands 
tend to use complementary color schemes if they want to have more of an intention grabbing feel to them. If we do a triad, that's more harmonious. We can do monochromatic, which is more harmonious as well, split complementary, whatever. So you're going to play around with this, find colors, three colors that accurately represent your brand as much as possible. And then in here, you're going to choose two different fonts that meet the feel of your brand. Now, we're kind of limited on font because we're using PowerPoint or Google Slides, respectively. But just find two fonts that are closely, that closely match the feel or the tone of your brand. Alrighty, now um, you're going to keep this document. I, I want you to turn it in, obviously, whenever you're done, but you want to keep it in a place where you can get access to it. Uh, because you're going to keep referring back to this document every time you design anything new for your brand. This is going to help you to remember exactly what your brand identity is. All right, so once you're done building this presentation uh, about your brand specifically, go ahead and turn it in, and then I will see you in the next week. Peace.